what's goody in the hoodie welcome to miss hawaii to if it's your first time here if you coming back you rock you real smart for coming back you real smart thank you holla how y'all doing we are doing a pick a deck pick a card yeah reading today exciting so we're using the radiant wise tarot this is going to be deck number one and this is going to be deck number two the pulp girls tarot deck exciting so pile number one pile number two this is basically which past lover which ex person ex or past lover or somebody from your past wants to return and misses you all right so that's what we're looking at we're looking at who specifically is this person from the past that want to return um who is this person that's missing you that's been thinking about you and whatever other details come out all right um so yeah so whichever deck you feel more drawn to that's which one you're going to watch so like i said this is going to be pile number one and this is going to be pile number two pile number one is the radiant wise spirit tower pile number three is the pulp girls tarot deck all right so let you guys take a look at each one there so you can uh see which one your spirit your, is calling you to which one you feel more drawn to all right let's get it popping so we're going to start with the radiant wise tarot all right so this is if you chose tarot deck number one all right how does this ex past lover feel about you kaylee what are you doing She's scratching up my, my little chair over there. So this is pile one, this ex, or this past lover. Who is this past lover that wants to return and is missing you, right? Which one of your past lovers or which one of your exes is missing you the most and wants to return and come back? <laughs> Let's see what comes out from my pile number ones. I know this is going to be funny. I know this is going to be funny. I know this is going to be funny. Good to see all of you. Make sure you guys hit the like button if it resonates, all right? And leave me a comment, subscribe, and share. Let's see, pile number one. Which ex or which past lover has been missing you and wants to come back? Which which one of your exes or past lovers misses you the most? Oh, yeah, okay. Some of you, it could be somebody who was doing bad financially and they doing better now. And they really want you to see that or they want to show you. The Five of Pentacles in reverse, the star. Ooh, some of you, this could be an Aquarius. You could be the Aquarius. This person really has been wishing for you to come back. They, they, this is like, the, this is like this person's dream. Like before they go to bed every night, they fantasize you and them getting back together. Ace of Cups in reverse. Judgment was on the bottom. They haven't made you an offer though. It's like this person wants you to come back to them. Damn, they really been sad. Five of Cups missing you. They have a lot of regrets. They fantasize about you a lot. This is somebody that have a lot of options. A lot of people want this person, but they want you. Four Swords in reverse. They lose a lot of sleep over you. They're very uneasy about the situation. The World in reverse. Yeah, they don't want this cycle to be closed out. Uh-uh. No. Somebody could be born on the 5th, the 4th. Five of Swords. You see, but this is an ex or a past lover. <sighs> they was playing games, man. They know they did some grimy, dimey stuff. And they, I'm not going to lie, this person still got a little bit of that grimy, dimey still in them. I'm not going to lie. Show me this five of pentacles in reverse. The high priestess in reverse. Two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, some of y'all, this person was doing bad financially. And they could be doing better. Some of y'all, somebody tried to like get into this person's head about you. Like talk bad about you. And that could be what distance this person's from you. That's not for everybody. Like they could have had somebody around them that they thought was like a mentor or somebody giving them good advice, but they were not. What is this star card? Some of you, this person could be in the public eye. They could be seen. They could be popular with the star card. Yeah, they thought about this long and hard and they definitely want you. They see you as a star as well. Like some of you could be popular as well. You could be the stars, but 
Like they thought about this long and hard and this person knows that you're the one that they feel like is their match. Why the Ace of Cups in reverse? Because I don't see them making you a love offer. Hmm. Nine of Wands in reverse tried to come out. The Ace of Pentacles with the Hangman in reverse. Some of you could be Pisces or you could be dealing with one. They're going to make you an offer. Just something about them wanting it to be like super solid. Like they don't just want to come at you with emotion. Whoever this is, they want to come at you with like solid, hardcore proof that what they're giving you is something stable. Okay, let me see the Five of Cups. They have even cried over you. Like they may have even cried to someone about you, like a friend or something. Like they've had a breakdown about you. Yeah, look, justice in reverse. That's Libra energy. This person has also received karma for how they treated you. They still are, I'm hearing, with the justice in reverse. Um, they may have gotten to some type of trouble with the law. Some of y'all may have heard about it or you will hear about it. They think a lot about how they did you wrong. Some of you, maybe you and this person went through something legally for a few of you. Not everybody, but somebody's born on the 11th. This person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Something could have happened with this person in the law. What's this four of swords in reverse? Three of cups, two of cups in reverse. This person, they really think a lot about how much fun y'all used to have. I don't know why I just saw video games. Like, I don't know if you and this person used to play like video games together or y'all used to just watch a lot of Netflix, a lot of movies drink or something like that or just have fun like i'm just seeing y'all having a good time together like it wasn't just like a love affair thing you know what i mean and they missed that like i'm getting they missed their best friend with the two of cups in reverse on the bottom what's the world in reverse like you and this person were best friends they've been wanting to reach out for a minute but they they were scared of like drama or conflict popping off or something like that yeah look what just tried to throw itself at me the eight of wands some of y'all this person's family don't like you they could have had an influence but i see this person has wanted to reach out to you numerous times i'm getting eight times but they didn't do it they're embarrassed what's this five of swords this is crazy nine of wands in reverse this person put you through it whoever this is and they know they did they put you through it. Yeah. They still not on a level where they need to be yet. That's why they haven't made you an offer. I don't know what that means. Like, some of you, this person, if they into the metaphysical, they could have definitely tried to throw some type of like positive spell work your way to try to get you to come towards them with the high priestess in reverse. Like maybe they went to somebody and was like, oh, can you try to make so-and-so come back to me? They could have went to somebody here, some fake ass. <laughs> Clearly it ain't work, right? Oh, Sade is playing too, no ordinary love. Anything else about who this is? Anything else about who this ex or past lover is and their feelings for you? They wanna apologize. Some of y'all, it's a Virgo. They really feel bad about something they did to you that was grimy. They did something real grimy to you. Something really messed up, something really mean. And it really weighs heavily on their conscience. Like a lot, like they think about it all the time. Show me more about this seven of swords in reverse, please. Some of you, they owe you an apology and they know it. The Knight of Cups, yeah. I'm, what I am going to say to you, though, some of y'all, this is a cancer with a chariot in reverse. Some of y'all, this person got into a car accident or something or something happened with their car. You're going to hear about it if you didn't already. Um, yeah, somebody rides horses or something like that. Somebody's name is Nick. I'm hearing the name Nick, Nicholas, um, Nicole, Nicole. So I feel like with this Knight of Cups, this person... I know they did something messed up to you, but with the Knight of Cups here coming out on top of it, this person, they, they do love you. 
They did have feelings for you, even when they did whatever this crazy thing is to you that they did that they feel bad about. Because some of y'all are like, this person never loved me. They never cared about me because they did this. But that's not true. Don't shoot the messenger. Show me more about this, please. That's why I'm getting strongly. This person could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Some of y'all, they cheated on you with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Some of y'all, they cheated on you with somebody who wasn't even nowhere on your level. With the Queen of Wands in reverse, they did something that's not for everybody, but they could have definitely been somebody on the side. That could have been what they did. But they feel really bad about that. If that if that's what they did, like especially if they cheated on you or something like that, because I'm seeing a person they cheated on you with or whatever they did with. Because some of you I'm hearing they didn't even like physically cheat, but they did something. And the person is ugly. Queen of Wands in reverse, whether they male or female. Like it's not all about looks, but damn, you couldn't even pick nobody look better than me. You had to get somebody below me. Mm. Anything else about this person? They think about you all the time with the Six of Cups. <laughs> no ordinary love is playing by Chardé, so I feel like y'all have like a very unique type of love or you had a unique type of love. This is somebody you have a past life connection with though, with the Six of Cups. Y'all been together in past lives. Y'all had a lot of good times together. Like, I don't know if y'all just had fun with the Six of Cups here. Some of y'all, you may have a child with this person. That's not everybody. But a lot of memories, like some of you, maybe you've known this person like when y'all were young, because I'm just seeing them really think back on a lot of good times y'all had together. Fun times. Let me see this um, Six of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and they, they feel like they ruined that. They feel like they ruined that. Death. So this person is, they could be a Scorpio or you could be, hey, Scorps. It's like this person eight of cups in reverse they never left this they never emotionally let this go they couldn't they couldn't some of you some of you like if you were in a relationship with this person and they cheated on you with somebody some of you this person this third party person was jealous of you the whole time and they was plotting on screwing your girl or screwing your man like they was plotting on you the whole time jealousy but this person, like, losing you, some of y'all, they went through something with their health. Like, it really hurt them. Like, it's like their life really took a downfall. Like, once when this was over with you and it caused them to go through some type of, like, like maybe some of you, they did actually almost lose their life with the death card, right? But it seemed like they went through some type of, like, death transformation. Maybe they actually did lose somebody. But it's like this person kept thinking about you. Like some of y'all, they lost somebody. Somebody passed away very close to them and they felt sad. And the only thing they held on to was like you, three of wands with the lovers in reverse. Some of y'all, this person waited for you to come back. They really, really waited. They really thought in their mind you was going to come back. Like right. Three of Wands. Some of y'all, they waiting on a sign from you, like for you to let them know that you're still interested in some type of way. Tell a friend, tell a co-friend. Some of y'all are Geminis. They always ask about you, like when somebody bring up your name, they'll be like, oh, how's so-and-so doing? What's so-and-so up to? They feel like you will be very, very guarded if they came towards you right now. Yeah, they feel like if they told you everything, the moon in reverse, if they told you all of this, they feel like they would feel happy with the nine of cups. Because it's like they want to tell you that you are their wish fulfillment. Somebody could be born on the ninth and they want to tell you how all this love they have for you with the queen of cups. But they feel like you would be really guarded. Some of you, they feel like you're happy with the nine of cups. Like you're happy without them. Like they feel like you're good. Like... <laughs> Some of you, maybe they think you, you know, you're with somebody else. Maybe some of you are. Could be a Virgo. This person is very lonely. Somebody, they may have a beard. Somebody may have a beard or something like that. Um, but this person is very, somebody's really tall too. Very, very tall. 
um this person is like very lonely they've been like they spend time they be to themselves like if this person used to be like a hoe or a player they don't do that no more like this person really is like lonely but like they really needed this time to be by themselves I keep seeing something with their car. Like some of y'all, they got a car accident or something or something about they lost their car. Yeah, this person's really been doing a lot of like soul searching with the hermit. Anything else closing out? And then we're gonna go to the second deck. The Wheel of Fortune with the Two of Cups in reverse. Mm, some of you are Sagittarians. So a lot of you, this is somebody that y'all were brought together to learn karmic lessons with the Wheel of Fortune. Hey, mama, what you doing up there? <laughs> She's hanging out right there with y'all. Hey, mama. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this person's gonna come back around. I'm also getting, they never found a connection like the one they had with you. Like maybe this person, maybe they were in, you know, other relationships after you or, you know, other connections. But it's like they never felt the strong pull that they felt with you, they never felt it with anybody else. Mm -mm. Some of y'all, you're gonna hear from this person around Sagittarius season. So like November, December, the emperor is here, Aries energy with the tower in reverse. Yeah, this person is gonna come towards you. Some of y'all, something, like, something about divine timing or this person really wanting to, they may kind of be distant right now because these are a lot of major iconic cards. They may be distant right now because they're trying to get themselves up to emperor status. Like something about this person wanting to upgrade themselves and be more stable before they come towards you. For a lot of you. Mm-hmm. They may have a hard time expressing their feelings. Yeah, see with the eight of pentacles, something about this person, like something about their work or focusing on their work or something like that. Like they're really trying to build more stability or something. Some of you, they trying to get like a new house or a new place or something and then they're going to come towards you it's like this person wants you to see them on their emperor status when they come at you because it's like they want to have like all the stacks you know what i mean like on their side and the only way they can do that is by making sure that when they come towards you they got you know what i mean they on their a game so that's what i have for you pile number one i hope that helped you gave you some clarity advice and guidance if you guys want a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. That'll get you booked for a personal reading. All right, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And shout out to all the members and the Patreoners. I love you guys and thanks for tuning in. Have a blessed weekend and I'll see y'all in the next one. Let's go to pile number two, pile number two, pile number two, which is the Pulp Girls Tarot deck. So if you chose pile number two, the Pulp Girls Tarot deck, we are going to see how this person, this ex or this past lover, how they feel about you, who they are, which one. Uh, well, hold on, what am I talking about? We're going to take a look and see which one of your exes or past lovers misses you the most and wants to come back the most, okay? That's what we're looking at. I had a tongue twister right there. So let's see, so which one of your past lovers, pal number two? Which one of your past lovers, your exes or past lovers, misses you the most and wants to come back the most? Who are they and what happened between y'all two? How are they currently feeling, all right? Let's see, pile number two. Make sure you guys hit the like button if this resonates and leave me a comment, subscribe, and share. I love you all. Let's see, which one of your exes, pile number two, or your past lovers misses you the most and wants to come back? Mm. Uncle Elroy. Oh my God, this person loves the hell out of you. Queen of Cups with the strength. Could be a Leo, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person loves you. They are madly in love with you. Nine of Swords in reverse. Okay. Somebody got their boobs done. Three of Cups in reverse. Five of Wands, uh-oh. This might be an ex that's in a third party. The Queen of Swords in reverse. Some of y'all, this is a same sex connection. That's not for all of you. The Devil, oh my God. Capricorn energy.
The Magician in Reverse? That's scary. I don't like when those two come out together. The Seven of Swords in Reverse and the Death in Reverse. Okay. This could be a Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. Gemini here, Capricorn. Uh, this ex or this past love is obsessed with you. Um, they might be in, involved with somebody, <laughs> like a third party or something. Some something very toxic they're involved, or they're they have somebody very toxic attached to them. Um, they want to apologize to you for something they did. I don't know if this is somebody who's really manipulative. If this person is pretty toxic, they're like really addicted to you. What is this Queen of Cups? They cannot let you go with the death in reverse. Like this person has tried and tried and tried, but they can't. <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Swords, the Page of Cups. Wow, this, this person feels like you and them could have had something really serious with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I don't know why I'm here and they would have like married you immediately or something. Like some of y'all would have, they would have like married you. Maybe some of you did get married quickly or something. Like something about even having a baby. What's the Nine of Swords in reverse? Like they used to be very stressed out about this, but not anymore. Like they used to be very like four swords, empress in reverse. Some of y'all, this person's mother doesn't like you and could have caused drama between you and them. Okay. This is a lot of swords here. So a lot of you, this person could be an Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini, five of swords. Four swords. Y'all have some type of fight or something. Somebody's mother could have been involved. What's the three of cups in reverse? Third party energy. The moon, yeah, some of y'all with the moon in reverse, Cancer Pisces energy there. The seven of wands. Yeah, something big happened here with this person with the tower, Scorpio energy. Something big happened here. And ooh, somebody's into uh, bodybuilding. And somebody's in the army or something like that. But I'm hearing the name Amy too. The name Amy, Eileen, Arlene, Mallory, Morgan, Matthew. But yeah, like, it's like something, a third party could have been revealed to you about this person for some of you. What is this Queen of Swords in reverse? Who is this? Six of Cups here. Eight of Pentacles. This person wants to work on this. They feel like they have a lot of like history with you with the Six of Cups. But I'm trying to figure out who is that Queen of Swords in reverse. That feel like that's somebody that came between y'all. Somebody could have definitely came between y'all. Somebody that really do not like you, that was talking dirt on your name. What is this devil energy around this person? Some of y'all, this person may have addictions. Yeah, that are weighing them down with the Ten of Wands. Somebody works like in a jean store selling jeans. I don't know, I just heard Levi's or something. This person fantasizes about you all the time. Somebody could be born on the 7th or the 10th, 15th, 21st. This could be a Leo too, or you could be a Leo. It's like this person, they're very attached to your energy. Pile number two. They very attached to your energy. You are like a source of this person's happiness. Um, this person is stressed out though. They have a lot of, a lot of like burdens. 
especially if they have addictions or something like that. It's like, is this really weighing them down? They know they need to change. But why is the magician in reverse? See, this person could have tried to manipulate you because some of you might be... Some of you might be super guarded towards this person. If they were to come towards you or message you right now, some of y'all might curse this person's ass out. Some of you did curse this person out. Because they, some of you feel like they tried to manipulate you. I don't know why I just heard something about somebody tried to trap somebody. What is this seven of swords in reverse? the queen of pentacles in reverse. This person feels bad for something. Some of y'all, they did something here. Some of y'all, they know they're the reason why y'all not together. They feel bad. They feel stupid. They feel like you love yourself. They feel like you definitely love yourself. You chose self-love. They do feel bad about the breakup. What is the death card in reverse? This is them being unable to let you go. The Empress in reverse. Some of y'all, they tried to date somebody else and it was a disaster. I'm telling you before, a lot of you was something with this person's mother, like this person's mother or their father did not like you. And they could have definitely had an influence. Like I'm not making no excuse, but they could have definitely been in this person's ear about you. But some of you, this person, they may have tried to date somebody else that they thought was going to be like you. And that failed miserably. <laughs> Like this person was nowhere near you or is nowhere near you on your level at all, right? Anything else about this person's feelings for power too, please? Heavy Gemini energy, the nine of wands. This person know they put you through it with the wounded warrior here, eight of cups. They feel like you had a right to walk away. Some of y'all, they feel like you had a right to walk away, like I'm looking at this girl's face in this car, man. She looks sad. Like, she looks sad. Some of y'all walked away at night or something. You could have packed your bags at night, moved out. I'm getting somebody. But look, nine of wands here. Look at this lady. She looks so sad. This person put you through a lot and they know they did. They feel like you had a right to walk away. Yeah. Yeah, they feel like you still are holding judgment against them for what they did. It makes them very unhappy. But this person, I don't know. I feel like they still sneaky. I don't feel like they've changed. Like, I don't see change in them with the death in reverse. I feel like they're still the same person. Like, I mean, I feel like they do see fault. But look, the devil, magician in reverse. Like, this person, I'm not going to lie. They still got their same ways. They know if they was to come towards you right now, you wouldn't, they feel like you would reject their offer. But they feel like they deserve it. They feel like they deserve it. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They wouldn't dare come towards you because this person already know. Some of you, this person's in therapy and they talk about you a lot to like their therapist. Like you're like the topic of discussion. Like this person talks about you because they talking about you to somebody with the three of pentacles. They talk about you a lot at work to like their coworkers or they may have like some coworkers or something at work. Somebody that they talk to like, but I definitely see like them talking to you to like a group of people. <laughs> Maybe some of you, they in a support group. I don't know strength card here it's like it's hard for this person it's been hard for them some of you they may be in therapy or something five of wands here it's like it makes this person angry sometimes this person might have like anger issues i just saw somebody like punching a wall they may get very angry when they think about how they treated you some of you they tried to juggle you right some of you they tried to juggle you with the two of pentacles or something like that. Some of you, they trying to figure out if you're single or not. They're not sure if you're married, if you're in a relationship. Like some of you might be real private about that. And this person has been asking around. They definitely want to message you. They feel like you are like their, their uh, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. They do. They feel like they miss sex with you with the page of wands here. 
Like it was real fiery. Y'all were really passionate. Your sex, if, if you made love, it was very like passionate, very like fireworky. They miss it. Some of y'all, this person got a big penis or something like that with this page of wands. Some of you, they regret like not having kids with you. They really felt like you and them were gonna like have a family. Like they wanted their kids to look just like you. Like this person could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Any final messages in regards to who this is? Temperance with the Ace of Wands in reverse. This person is gonna come towards you, but they wait in. They feel like you have to forgive them one day. They, like they want forgiveness from you. Somebody has an Afro, pretty Afro. They want forgiveness from you. Like without a doubt, like this person knows, like they feel like they need forgiveness. Like, so, but they feel like they gotta be patient. They have to wait with the temperance card. Like some of you, like they feel like they've got signs from the divine to tell them like they have to like, get your forgiveness or at least be in good standing with you like some of you they may be like even if we just friends yeah page of pentacles exactly they may just be like yo somebody might be plus size too i'm seeing a beautiful plus size person here um but i feel like yeah like this person like somebody's into those hats what are those little hats that they wear in paris See, she got one on. I forget what they called. Somebody wear them hats. They cute. But yeah, they feel like they, they want to just like they, they miss chopping it up with you. Like just talking to you. Like y'all used to have good conversation. Like they miss something about your conversations. Okay. Some of you, you inspire this person to go back to school and they did go back to school. Finally, they want to talk to you about that. Like, I feel like there's a lot they want to tell you. Yeah. But even if y'all don't get back together, like they still want you in their life. Like they miss you in their life. Like the conversation, like your energy, like all of that. Yeah. But that's what I have for you, pal number two. They may be in a situation with somebody that's real toxic. They may have somebody real manipulative around them at the moment, but that's what I'm getting for you guys. So those were the messages for you guys. I hope this helped you some. Gave you clarity, advice, and guidance. And again, if you want a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Miss Hawaii Tarot on there. Thank you again for all your love and support, guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. You guys have a wonderful, blessed weekend. Thanks for all your love and support, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Love you.